Welcome back everybody to another Swift iOS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the basics of using a slider with your iOS apps. The application that we're going to build is going to be a times table or a multiplication table that is displayed in a table view and updated with your slider. So the first thing we did is we went ahead and put together our view here. So we search for our table view and drag that on and you can see that here. Then we search for our slider, and then we drag that onto the view, which is here. We've gone ahead and hooked those up as outlets, and you can see those are here and here. And we also created an IB action function with the slider here. Now, a quick note if you're not familiar with table views at all, please feel free to check out my tutorials on table views. Okay, so we'll come back to this code here in just a second. Now one of the first things you want to do when building a table view is go ahead and conform to the UI table view delegate and UI table view data source protocols. And we're going to do that using an extension. We need to use two methods, number of rows in section and cell for row at index path. Another thing you want to do with your table view is go ahead and connect your delegate and data source. One way to do that is with your storyboard and you can right click and then drag up to your view controller like that and then do the same thing with the delegate. Or you can click on your table view, click control and drag up to the view controller and click on the data source, then click and drag again and click on the delegate. The way that we have done it here is we have used the table view outlet here dot delegate and dot data source and set that to self. And the advantage of doing it that way is you can quickly see that you have connected those because doing it via the storyboard can be an easy thing to forget. Okay, let's move on to our table view functions. Now for the number of rows in section, we're gonna go ahead and use the array that we're gonna use for our times table, which is just simply an array of numbers one through 12. So our times tables will include numbers 1 through 12. If you wanted to make that larger, then just change this 12 to a larger number. Okay, so basically in this case, we're going to have 12 rows going from 1 to 12. Now to set up our rows, we're going to use cell for row at index path. To set up our cell, we're going to use the DQ reusable cell with identifier for index path. For the identifier, you're going to use your prototype cell, and you can see that's set to cell, and we put that in here. Now to assign the numbers as strings to each cell, we're gonna use cell.textlabel.text. If you just wanted to show the result of the times table, one way you could do that is to wrap it in a string. However, in this case, we're gonna use string interpolation. And before we explain that, let's go over one more note. One way that you can set your values for your slider is to click on the storyboard, and then click on the slider, and then go to your attributes inspector. And then you can set the initial values, minimum and maximum. In this case, we're gonna use a value of one, minimum of one, and a maximum value of 12. You can also set those using code. So let's go ahead and hide our storyboard. And let's go over what we've done here with the string interpolation. So earlier, we showed that we created an outlet for our slider here. And that's connected to the slider on the storyboard. So we can use that slider, and then we use dot value to access its value. Because slider values show up as floats, we want to go ahead and cast that as an int using string interpolation, which uses the round brackets and the backslash. Then we use the star for multiplication. And using our array of numbers, 1 through 12, we're going to access each element of that array using index path dot row. So for each row, that will access a different element of this array, going from 1 all the way to 12. So this will be the number of the slider, 1 through 12. And this will be the number of our array, 1 through 12. And if we have our slider on 1, it'll be 1 times all of the values, 1 through 12. If we have the slider on 2, it'll be 2 times all the values, 1 through 12, and so on. Then we use our equals, 
And inside this part of the string interpolation, we're going to actually perform an operation, which will be the value of the slider times or multiplied by each value in our array. Then finally, we return the cell. Now, let's point out something important using our slider function. Each time we change the slider, we want our table view to update. In order to do that, we're going to use our table view outlet dot reload data. Let's go ahead and run it. So the first thing that shows up are our times tables for 1, 1 through 12. Let's click on the slider. Here you can see the times tables for the 2s, the 3s, the 4s, the 5s, all the way over to 12. Okay, that's all we have for this Swift iOS tutorial on the basics of using the slider. We will be doing many more iOS tutorials in the near future. Join us for those.